Oh, ship. It's really gone. Hey, where did all the seashells go? Uh huh. Uh, the various different tasks that I have actually um, tend to kind of be s usually isolated. They intertwine on occasion, but um, I can do each of them uh, fairly quickly, I, I think. So we're going to go ahead and start with this guy first. Um, he's got something going on in his throat, but we don't really know what it is, right? Greetings, so. Your Excellency. Or Clown. Right. So let's check with this first. Hey, do you think you could help me make a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? That looks like a... Yes. Yes, if... If I weren't choking. Okay. Exactly. So... Maybe we'll use this hook. What if that whistling sound is actually something caught in his throat? Maybe I could fish it out with this. Sir, you are more likely to force the object further down his throat if you attempt that. I recommend a sudden constricting pressure to the abdomen instead. Trust me, choking prevention is my business. Hmm. Is it? Well, in that case, we should probably go looking around trying to find something that const uh, can constrict him, right? So, going out of this area, we'll be able to find it fairly quickly. Oops. And we're going to go ahead and just ignore this guy for now. Um, Any talking trees over here? No? Good. I can hear you. That's an interesting smell. So unfamiliar. Just keep on walking. A little bit further. What the? Oh, wow. This is incredible. A real giant constrictor. All right, so the key thing, he's going to keep talking. Um, the key thing about this that needs to be understood is that, you know... Okay, first of all, we can reuse this. Snake blow horn. You're welcome, Curtis. Okay, so... Sounds like someone's really afraid of hugs. Feel like letting go of me, Mr. Huggy? We could just blow the horn right now, but it actually... That's counterintuitive for what we're wanting to do. He is so used to getting hugged out back on the ship, if you recall that he's almost impervious to being constricted. So you basically just have to let the snake um, wear himself out. And eventually, well, you'll see what happens. I feel like they kind of drew this out a little bit longer than was necessary, but, you know, that's okay. Just keep waiting. That's right. I guess that poor snake didn't realize how many hug attacks I've been through. Okay, now collect Mr. this Huggies fucker. All tuckered out. Don't want to leave him here where someone might step on him. All right, so now we got to go back and we got to use the snake on uh, our friend that we just made, who looks like the dude from Imagination Land. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and talk to the tree real quick. <laughs> I heard you talking. You don't need to hide it from me. Talking to humans hasn't really worked out well for me. Don't worry. I've seen much weirder stuff than talking trees where I'm from. Oh, so I'm a weird thing, huh? A freak? Does that make you want to cut me down, huh? Turn me into a stool, I suppose? No, that's not what I was saying at all. Oh, I understand why you're mad. Stuck in one place all your life. Wanting to see the world? No, that's not what's making me upset. It's all the murderous humans who want to cut us down. Being stuck in one spot is kind of like the whole tree thing, man. Who wouldn't like that? Do all trees talk in this land? Maybe take the time to talk to them before you cut them down, and you'll find out. I've never cut down a tree in my life. Really? How'd you get your wood? We didn't use wood. My... My mom just knit everything we needed. Well, that's just the sweetest thing I've ever... Wait. What were her knitting needles made of? Plastic. Okay. I think. Do you know anything about fixing spaceships? No. That's a subject that never resonated with me. Oh. 
Good one. <laughs> Tree jokes are the best. No, they're not. They're not even close to the best. They're actually very boring. Have you seen a mad-looking girl in a tattered dress? Oh, please don't mention that demented little urchin to me. It makes me sick to think of how she made me sick. Why did she make you sick? She coveted my sap. I saw her collect it in a bucket. Oh, curse my precious fluids and all their magical hardening properties. <laughs> well, I gotta make like a tree and split. No. Oh. It's supposed to be a banana. That's right. Don't worry about it. Tree jokes are hard. Stupid. I've detected an unusual rock formation on the surface. That's not rock. It's the hardened shell of my sick, summoned from my gut by a banshee in a shredded gown. You don't say. Never seen one of those before. Alright then. So let's keep going. Had enough of you, tree. So, this guy's got something stuck in his throat. And we're gonna use the snake on him, cause reasons. You had something caught in your throat. Uh. Hey, knock that off, Mr. Huggy. Back to your tree. Mog... Mog Chatra... Struck down by the dead eye guard. Only to rise again. This maiden's feast was a disaster. I'm never gonna be mayor now. Cool. So... Excuse me? Huh? Feeling better? A little. But I won't know for sure until the polls come in tomorrow. Where did Mog Chothra go? I assume back home, beyond the gates of the Plague Dam. Can you tell me where we are? Why, the village of Shell Mound, of course. The eighth largest incorporated seaside territory on the whole East Coast. Who are you? Marshal Du. Who are you? I'm Shay, from Laruna. Laruna? You're from the ancient lost city far beyond the Plague Dam? Huh. Well, that's not exactly how it was described to me. Do you know anything about electronics? What's electronics? Some new data analysis service for elections? Do you know how to build a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? I can build anything. As long as it's made out of sand. Which one was it? There's a particular uh, answer. Actually, not not yet. Okay. Oh, do you mean sand? Synthetic autonomous nanodrones? Because that would be great if you had some of those. No, I mean sand. As in, the chief export of this fine community. Oh. I think sand is the perfect material. I think sand is the perfect material for making spaceship parts. That's right. But can you make something this complicated? Please, do you realize to whom you are speaking? And that's why they call me Marshal Dew. Thanks. No, thank you, son, for reminding me why I got into this business. I might look like a politician, but underneath it all, I'm just a guy who loves sand. Ooh, that's good. I'm going to pass that along to my speechwriter. So, now that we have this, uh, sand... It's a gyroscopic hypercam. Gyroscopic hypercam. We, uh, can't... Obviously, we can't give this to him to use for the spaceship because it's made of fucking sand. So, we've got to find an alternative. I can't yeah, yeah, I got it. You're grumpy. So, we got to keep on moving over to this house over here. Now, first, before we do anything... Ah, hold on, hold on now. Let's, let's take a look at the mailbox. There's some sort of flyer in here. Hey, this is that girl that tried to punch me. Please contact the Tartine family in Sugar Bunting if you have any information about our beloved daughter. Hmm. How do I break it to them that their daughter was swallowed by my spaceship? Definitely leave out the part about it being my spaceship, for starters. 
Okay, so great news is that we just committed a federal crime, but that's fine. Uh, let's keep on going. Uh, I think I've said that probably uh, estimated around 100 times already in this video. Um, so now that we have this uh, little flyer here, who out of anybody in this entire game disdains this woman or girl the most? Well, I think we've already talked to him. It is the tree. And apparently his sap hardens things. Right? Well, maybe it'd be a good idea to put this thing right over I'm just here. Gonna put this here, okay? Hey, the forest isn't your dumping ground, human. Shut up. Take a look at this. Hey, do you know this girl? Oh God, that face, the memories. Oh, you're every bit as cruel as her, aren't you? All right, so now the curious thing is why did we have to do, to do this? Granted, um, we haven't established that yet, but you'll find out in a very quick second. Um, in order to make sure that this thing maintains itself, you have to put sort of a hardened, coated layer on top of it, because, once again, it's made out of fucking sand. So having that uh, hardened uh, tree sap layer is a good idea for what we're about to do. Sorry, wood shop is closed. No more stools. Come back late. Whoa. Never seen an outfit like that before. Where'd you get it? My mom knit it for me. In space. Right. Hey, I get it. You don't want to reveal your source. Have everybody biting your style next week. Biting my... It's cool. I got my own thing, so... Uh... Hi, my name's Shay. Curtis. What are you making there? Art. Forged from metal. I used to work with wood, but, you know... It was getting all trendy. And the tree started talking. And there was no money in it, so I got into metal. How long have you been into metal? Oh, I've been into metal for like ever. But my kit just arrived today. So I've been like hardcore for about six hours. What are you forging? Well, in fact, you are the lucky one to see my very first <sighs> collectible diecast miniature. Oh. It's riveting. What is it? Um. Well, the catalog said it was supposed to be a wizard, but it looks more like a kitten reading a book. Dang it. Did I order the wrong mold? You order your molds from a catalog? Hey, I'm just starting out, okay? It's like I'm in a cover band phase. I want to do my own material, like, eventually. Do you have any other molds? I could only afford this one. The idea was to sell a bunch of wizards to buy more molds, but with this stupid cat, I don't know if I'm ever going to get a new mold. What does that big ladder go on your roof? There's a ladder on my roof? More like through your roof. Hmm, huh. not sure. But I've got a hunch that Vela had something to do with it. Is Vela a friend of yours? Well, she used to come around here a lot. Had a thing for my stools. I think you could make me a radiation suit? Nah, I don't do soft goods. If you're looking for a good seamstress, though, I'd check out Mariloft. They do amazing stuff with feathers. Uh, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. Well, have fun with the metal. Later, Shader. Yeah, the radiation suit will come at a later time. Your paintings are all ripped up. Yeah, that was a different me who did that. I'm much more calm now that I'm working with metal. Hmm. Is this boarded up for fire safety or something? Uh, yeah, safety. Never know when an inspector's gonna show up. I think there was one other thing. Looks like your axe is missing. <laughs> I don't use axes anymore. Now I make the axes. Uh, well, I mean I will, once I get the mold. Okay. So, let's, uh, you know, I mean, obviously I want to get some experience here, get, let you guys see what's going on with uh, different interactions and all that, so let's so, uh, go ahead and show him this. I found this in your mailbox. Fella's family must have left that when they came marching through here. 
I wonder what they're still doing upstairs. Hmm. Once again, something we'll take care of later. But uh, he was talking about molds and um, getting different ones and all that. Maybe this should come into play now. Hey, Curtis, do you think you could use this as a mold? Hmm. Hey, this is a nice mold. What is this, a candle holder? It's a super... Because candle holders sell like crazy. I can totally use this as a mold if it's a candle holder. It's a super candle holder. Cool. Let's try it out. Hit the road, kitty. Please don't be a cat. Please don't be a cat. Yay! That's perfect. Do you think it conducts electricity really well? Well, not that it matters for a candle holder, but based on the metals I'm using, yes. Thanks. Yeah, you take the first one. Fair trade for this awesome mold that is going to make me so rich. Uh, which <clears throat> I only care about because it gives me the freedom to be truer to myself as an artist. Thanks, Curtis. Pleasure doing business. I mean, art with you. So we just managed to get our first task taken care of. All we have to do now is go back to uh, Alex and uh, give him the item. Hey, man. I got something for you. Here you go. One superconductive gyroscopic hypercam as requested. Hey, that looks even better than my old one. This faux sandy texture really adds to the conductive surface area. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. That's a really recent advancement in hypercams. So we have one thing out of the way now. Uh, what else do we have? What else do you need? So what else does your ship need to fly? Hmm. Let me see here. Still need an electronics genius, and uh, still need your dad to patch the holes in the hull. What else? I still need a radiation suit. Hmm. Gotta replace my heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. Okay. See you later. Okay. All right, so I think I know which one I'm going to go ahead and do next, but let's talk to him real quick. So, you know this girl? Yep, that's Vela. Oh, wow. I didn't realize her family was looking for her. I wonder if they'll follow the trail up here eventually. Right, let's get out of here. So, for the next course of action, we're going to have to uh, go upstairs. And you'll find out what I mean in a second. Phew. Now that was a ladder. Whoa. Check out these crazy clouds. Oh yeah, I forgot. If I don't... I forgot about that. If okay, I don't have cloud are you shoes. Doing great? You built the new ladder. You got it attached, just like I asked. Now all you have to do is climb up here and rescue me. Brother Lightbeard, can you not climb down yourself? I've told you a million times for there. I've been up here too long. My feet are weak. They're like little teacups. I dare not use them. Now please, for there, stop wasting time. I... Uh, well, I can't, Brother Lightbeard. You know I... I... No, 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 don't cry, whatever you do. I can't. Ah, <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Little fun fact, that guy up there is voice acted by Jack Black. I thought that was interesting. Hey, what's wrong, big guy? Brother Lightbeard needs my help. I have failed him. Also, I don't like being called big. Hi, I'm Shay. What's your name? They used to call me Fathur, but after this day, they will only call me Coward. Or maybe, if I'm lucky, Coward. Who's Brother Lightbeard? Our benevolent leader who was stranded on his high cloud when a strange girl broke his ladder. Why can't you help Brother Lightbeard? I'm afraid to climb this ladder. Climb the ladder. You're strong enough. But I'm not. Not inside. Any idea where I can get a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit? Oh, I'm sure we don't have one of those. 
Harmony hates anything heavy. Any idea why we're able to walk on these clouds? Because the words of Harmony Lightbeard make us light. Tell me more about this strange girl. She looked so light, but I sensed a heaviness in her heart. Sure enough, when she got on the ladder, it broke. I think Harmony's teachings really could have helped her. Yeah, sure they could have. You should help Brother Lightbeard. I can't. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna call him fat. Never mind. Well, see you later. Don't give up. <sighs> so, next thing we need to do is go up the ladder. Mind if I try your ladder? You will help me rescue Brother Lightbeard? I'll see what I can do. That's very light of you. Thank you. See? Nothing to be afraid of. Wait a second. Uh-oh. What's happening? Darn it. He looked so light. Uh, help? A little farther for there. It's not me. <sighs> Heart of gold, but he never takes anything 100%, you know? All right, then. So now we got to figure out how to get this guy down, or not necessarily. How does that big cloud stay afloat? Just like all the other clouds. There's nothing special about my cloud. Is that so? Why don't you just climb down? My legs have atrophied from lack of use. Wow. How long have you been up there? Just since this morning. By atrophied, I just mean really, really stiff. Why don't you just stay up there? I need to get back to my cloud house before tea time. If the watercress sandwiches stay out too long, the bread gets a tough outer layer. Almost like a new crust, you know? And then Chef has to make new ones. It's just really not fair to him. I'm trying to get up there, but I can't reach. Don't you have something you could stand on? Any idea where I can find a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit? Hey, whoa! What are you implying? I'm naturally buoyant. I, I just meant you seem to know a lot about lift. Please, my lightness comes from within. Okay, see you later. <sighs> <laughs> Alright, he doesn't seem very enthusiastic. Have you seen this girl? I think that was the girl who broke my ladder. Don't know how I know, just something not light about her. You. Fathera. Hello? Can you rescue harm me now? I still can't reach him, and he's too noble to jump. Can you untie that bow on harm me's cloud? Why would I do that? Hmm. How should we break this to him? Uh, you know what? Let's let's lie. That's that's a good way of doing it. So we can use it to make a rescue harness for him. Great idea. So, how do I untie it? Can you tell me what kind of knot it is? Um, yeah, the big old nasty-looking kind. Thanks. Wow. Okay. I'm sure it looks harder than it is. Let's give it a shot. I'll try. Just for shits and giggles. See what happens. Try wiggling it. Okay. Rats. That was a bad idea. Oh, uh, what does it look like now? Well, uh... Okay, I know this one. New terrible knot. From what I found, this one can be kind of arbitrary depending on how you what do it. What are you it. waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we need to get out of here and go back down. Okay, so we need to figure out a way to untie those knots because clearly Fther uh, doesn't know how to do it. So we got to find somebody who does. Um, and I know just the person. But we need to go back a little way. This lady seems right for the job, doesn't she? Hey, Carol. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Well, first, let's talk to her. Did you say you had wire? Oh, wait, hold I on a second. I have a bunch, but I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. Okay. Where did Mog Chothra go? Yeah, that was weird. Guess he wasn't dead after all. He just up and flew out of here. Probably headed back home with his tail between his legs. 
Where is Mog Chothra's home? They say he comes from over the Plague Dam. Must be some Mama Mog over there popping out fresh monsters every 14 years or so. Hey, do you know anything about electronics? Oh no. I only work with wire to reinforce the cloud shoes I make. A correction. Used to make. Now, just because I know exactly what I'm supposed to do, I still like to converse with these people. You know, I think it is good for you guys to get an idea of what these characters are like. I mean, after all, it's uh, somewhat of a walkthrough. This is different from a lot of my other playthroughs that I do. Um, because it is in, in an effort to help people uh, visually, as opposed to looking at a paper walkthrough or something. Um, but at the same time, I do want to entertain to some extent. But, uh, yeah, this is the actual answer. You seem good with your hands. Know anything about knots? Sure. Tying or untying? Untying. I see. What's it look like? All right, what's the right one? Uh, like a bucket of fingers. Like a bucket of fingers. Hmm. I think I know that one. Well, let me just draw you a quick diagram. Oh, darn. What? Well, I can't seem to find anything to draw with. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I guess I'm of no use after all. Yep. Hang on. I'll be right back with a writing utensil. She's useless. Now, who could have a writing utensil? Maybe the spaceman has a space pencil. Oh, hey, what do you know? He does. Uh, can I borrow your pencil? Can I borrow your space pencil? Uh, it's just a regular pencil, but okay. Give me that. Okay, see you later. Okay. Man, what's this? Hey, there's a big sparking hole in the floor. That's your superconductive gyroscopic hypercam in action, man. Works like crazy. Well, look at that. Yeah, let's get out of here. So now we have a writing utensil. She can actually help us. Once again, sorry if you guys can hear all the clicking. Hey, Carol. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Alright. Uh, here we are. Uh, I need another not untying diagram. Oh, yeah? Oh, right. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Uh, bucket of fingers, but yeah, that's not... Oh. Okay, sorry. Wasn't thinking. Hey, I found a pencil. Oh, great. Hand it over, honey. Now, what was I going to draw for you again? Oh, yeah. Untying knots. Yep. That's an easy one. Here's a diagram. Follow those instructions exactly. Oh, you'll have a totally different knot on your hands. Thanks. This diagram is good for one thing. Untying knots. Indeed. Actually, I don't recognize that one. Huh. Not really sure what that one's going to be all about, but... Uh, that's the tricky one about this, uh, assignment. You know, it, it's fairly, like I said, it's fairly arbitrary, and so each person might have a slightly different experience. It's, it's the same basic concept, but, um, you know, you might find yourself having to do it a couple times over because, uh, when, when you use the diagram for this upcoming part, um, if you get it wrong, the diagram disappears for some reason. There's no logical, um, conclusion to come to as to why that happens. It just does. It's kind of annoying, but it, you know, it is what it is. Alright, so now, uh, you. For there. Yeah, okay. Let's give it another try. Alright, so, uh, what was it? Unravel the sweater. It's not tickle the foot. Tickle the foot is number three. Steal the banana? I think that's it. Yeah. Steal the banana. Like this? It's still naughty, but now it's less naughty. So you just got to look at the visual uh, visual representation and just associate it to whatever makes sense. So that one looks kind of like a banana, so obviously. This one, there's a, a boat, you know, a sail, so make the boat go under the bridge. Um, it's the only one that has anything to do with, with boats, so. Make the boat go under the bridge. Huh? All right. <laughs> take that, not. All right, the last one looks like a foot, right? So take all the foot. Take all the foot. Like this? I think we're getting somewhere. I got it! Hey, get your mitts off that! <gasps> What's this? What the heck? Avert your eyes! For there, get me a towel. 
Brother Lightbeard? What is all that stuff? I know it looks like a big hoarding junk pile, but you have to understand. I might need some of this stuff someday. But everything you said about lightness, I... I don't know what I believe. You get a line and I'll get a pole, honey. You get a line and oh, I'll this get is a bad. Pole. Hey, is that a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit right there? I have no idea, but you're welcome to take it. What? No, that's mine! My lightness! As a matter of fact, is there any place you'd like it delivered? <laughs>